Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Please subscribe with your notifications on and I'll be posting daily Team Wolf content. Channels like Jade's Corner and Team Wolf News inspired me to make content and I've been a Team Wolf fan from the very start. Now let's get right into the video. We open on Mr. Harris in the classroom, he's getting ready to leave and he sees a list on his desk with a lot of names checked off and all of the last names on it are Harris. The Alpha is in the classroom and Harris says please don't kill me. The Alpha asked him who wrote the list and Harris said Laura Hale. The Alpha asked him if he knew why she was looking for him then he tells him to turn around and Harris continues begging for his life as the Alpha asks to look at what he's done. Then Derek rushes in to save Harris then he Alpha runs away. The police surrounds the school and now they're chasing Derek as he's running away. The Argents are chasing him as well and Chris calls Kate to tell her that Derek is on foot running and she seems shocked. Kate is following Derek's car and she says if he's on foot who's driving his car. Scott and Stiles were driving his car. The sheriff then sends the canines to get Derek then he roars at them and they ran back scared. Kate continues chasing Derek's car that Scott and Stiles are driving. Chris fires arrows at Derek and Scott and Stiles pick him up. Derek tells them that he found the Alpha and they asked how and he explained that the last time he spoke to Laura she told him that she was close to figuring something out. Derek shows them the Argent family symbol. In the next scene Scott and Stiles are at school and they want Allison's necklace and Scott says it's impossible. Jackson is now in the doctor's office and he's inspecting the wound and Jackson tells him that he's having nightmares about a fire. The doctor begins to get his tools to dig into the claw marks on Jackson's neck. He begins to pull Wolfbane's out of Jackson's Derek and then Jackson see Derek pulling and he wakes up. Jackson asks Melissa if he can use the computer. Jackson searches for Wolfnay online and he smirks and leaves. Jackson is now at school and he tells Scott that he knows what he is and however he got to become what he is, he has to get it for him too and Scott says he doesn't know what he's talking about. Jackson says he'll tell Allison if Scott doesn't get him the bite. Stiles asks Scott how the hell did Jackson find out and Scott says he needs a cure right now. Lydia blocks Scott from sitting next to Allison. Scott then tells Allison that he has something on his phone that he'd like to show her and he sends her pictures of them together. Allison gets up and looks back at Scott and leaves the classroom. Scott leaves as well. Scott stops her in the hallway and she asks him why he sent her those pictures and she asks him if he's trying to make her feel even worse for breaking up with him. Scott said no and he thought she would like them. Allison asks if he's trying to hurt her and get back at her and he says no. She also says she needs more time to get to just friends. Scott and Stiles are now in the cafeteria and Scott says he has to steal the necklace because Allison isn't talking to him. Scott sees Jackson looking at him and he tells Stiles. Jackson begins to talk to Scott from a distance because he knows that Scott can hear him. He says Scott is a cheater and he'll ruin his life if he doesn't get him what he wants and he'll start with Allison. He continues to taunt Scott. Jackson and Allison are now swimming together. And Scott takes the necklace from Allison's bag. Lydia confronts Jackson in the hallway about him breaking up with her over text and she says it's not funny and Jackson says he wasn't trying to be funny. Jackson then said that he's in preparation for some big changes in his life and he's decided to drop all of the dead weight and she's the deadest. He then tells Lydia that he's dumping her. Stiles then goes into his room and his dad calls him and just when he's about to answer he sees Derek. The sheriff then says he's proud of Stiles for being on first line. Derek then asks Stiles if Scott didn't get the necklace and Stiles says no but there's something else they can try. Stiles referenced the night when they were at the school and someone messaged Allison from Scott's number and Derek asked if he can find out who sent the message and he says he can't but someone else can. Scott is now seen breaking into Allison's room and searching for the necklace. Danny says he went to Stiles's house to do lab work and Stiles says he wants him to trace a text. Danny then looks over to Derek and asks Stiles who he is and Stiles says he's his cousin Miguel. Danny noticed blood on Derek's shirt and Stiles tells him to change it and Derek says his shirts won't fit him. Stiles noticed that Danny was checking Derek out. He used this to get Danny to trace the text. Scott is still searching for the necklace in Allison's room and he finds it. He then leaves. Danny found out who sent the text and Stiles and Derek are shocked by the identity of the sender who is revealed to be Melissa. Allison's dad then sees Scott leaving and stops him. He invites Scott inside. He asks Scott if he wants a beer. He asks Scott how he knows Derek and Allison is then seen running through the woods and she sees the Hale house and goes inside. 
Kate appears and scares Allison. Allison says she's looking for answers because she wants to know why Derek wanted to kill them and she asks Allison what she wants. Allison says she wants to be powerful and Kate says she can give her exactly what she wants. We now cut to Scott and Chris. Chris told Scott that Allison said she saw him talking to Derek and it's a bit disconcerting because he's talking to an alleged murderer. Chris sits down beside him and says he doesn't have to be scared of him and he's just thinking about his daughter's safety. Allison walks in begins to hear the conversation between Chris and Scott. Scott says all he thinks about is Allison and everything he did in the school was to protect her. Chris told him to go so he's not late for his game. Now Scott is at the game and he's talking to Derek and Stiles on the phone about the necklace and they ask him if he got it and he says yes. Derek said there has to be something like an inscription or an opening on it. Scott says there's nothing and it's flat. Derek slams Stiles' face into the steering wheel because Danny checked him out earlier. Derek tells him to go inside the long-term care facility. Jackson then asks Scott if it's the bite that does it and Scott says yes and Jackson says it's easy and Scott says it's not and he can't be the one that does it. It has to be an alpha, Scott says he doesn't know who it is and this whole thing is more complicated than Jackson thinks it is and there's others. Scott says there's hunters and Jackson is shocked by this, Scott says there are werewolf hunters and Jackson laughs at this and says it's a joke. Scott says there's a whole family of them and they carry assault rifles and he looks back at the Argents and Jackson says it makes sense because Argent means silver in French. Stiles is inside the facility and he says he can't find Melissa and Derek says he should ask for Jennifer because she's the one looking after his uncle and Stiles says he's not there either. Derek is shocked and Stiles says his uncle is gone. Derek then tells Stiles to get out because his uncle is the Alpha. Stiles slowly backed away from the room and saw Peter standing there. Stiles tries to run and Peter's nurse blocks him off. Stiles put everything together and realizes that Peter's nurse is the one that sent the text and then he says oh my god I'm gonna die. Derek knocks the nurse out and says she's a psychotic bitch helping Peter to kill people and then he told Stiles to get out of the way. Peter then asks Derek if he thinks he killed Laura on purpose and Derek attacks him. Peter easily defeats Derek and says that his mind personality will literally burn out of him and he's driven by pure instinct. Peter asked Derek if he knew what it was like for him slowly healing cell by cell and coming back to consciousness. Mr. Harris is now seen talking to the sheriff and he says it was six years ago before he got sober. He says he met her at bar and they had a lot of drinks and she asked him about what he does and they talked about how they can dissolve a body and get away with murder, how they can start a fire and get away with arson then a week later the Hale house burned down. He told the sheriff that he doesn't know her name and where she's from. He drew the Argent family symbol and said that if he finds that symbol he'll find the arsonist. Derek is slowly crawling away from Peter and Peter looks into the mirror and heals his face immediately. Peter asked Derek for a chance to explain. Jackson says he's giving Scott three days to get him what he wants. Kate sees the claw marks on the back of Jackson's neck and she asks Chris about the second beater and if it's possible to get turned by a scratch and Chris says if the claws goes deep enough maybe. Scott overhears this and realizes that they think Jackson is the second beater. End. Thank you all for watching.